Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome back to another video. I've actually had a short break where I've been uh, undergoing some uh, personal health issues, but these are all being sorted out. Um, so welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be helping you choose the right YubiKey. So if you want to know which YubiKey to choose, then keep watching this video and I'll show you which key is the best one to choose at this moment in time. There's various YubiKeys and other brands of security keys on the market at the moment. Uh, there's the YubiKey 5 Series, YubiKey 5 Series FIPS, and there's also the YubiKey Security Keys and the YubiKey Bio Keys. So which ones do you choose? Well, in my personal opinion, I would certainly recommend buying the YubiKey 5 series, which have NFC functionality in them as well. You can buy them with USB-C connections, USB-A connections, and also, and also lightning connectors. They also have NFC facilities. So for example, if you're using them with a mobile phone, you don't have to insert the security key into the actual USB slot or lightning port on your mobile phone. You can just touch the key along the phone, provided it has NFC capability on your mobile phone or tablet, for example. I've currently owned a USB-A model and it's a YubiKey 5 series not the FIPS one, but just the YubiKey 5 series. And I found this useful for everything that I need to do. So for example, if you want to use it to log into Microsoft Windows or any PC, a Mac or Android, then you can use it along with your username and password and have the security key as an actual physical option where you can insert it into the USB slot to grant you access to your, for example, Windows PC. However, if you're using it on a Windows PC, note that it only works with local user accounts and not Microsoft online accounts currently. However, I'm sure this might change in the future. You can use this for pass keys, which of course is the new upcoming security standard, what they think is gonna be the best security standard there is. So a YubiKey 5 series will also support this. And for example, if you're using a password manager, you can also use your YubiKey to grant you access to your password manager, as well as, for example, a passphrase which you've created, which you normally use to log into your password manager. For example, you can use this with KeyPass or KeyPass XC, which are both locally run applications, so they don't, they're not cloud-based. However, you can use this with cloud-based password managers as well. And of course, you can also use this with, as I said, passkeys, which is the new upcoming standard. You can also use these YubiKeys to store passwords on them so that you don't have to remember the passwords. Going back to pass keys, they will actually store up to 25 pass keys. They will grant you access to 25 different accounts using pass keys. So they will store 25 pass keys in addition to log into your password manager and also to grant you access to your PC, for example. You can also, you can use all of these at the same time. There's different sections of the actual YubiKey where it stores various different protocols. Um, I'll bring up a picture on screen in a moment and I'll show you where the actual information is stored within that YubiKey. And I'll also bring you up a table where you can make your own decisions should you wish to, uh, which YubiKey you want to buy. If you do want to buy a YubiKey 5 series, which is either a USB-C model, a lightning port model, or a USB-A model, all of these have NFC capability as well, then I do have a discount code 
which has kindly been provided to me from Ubico. And they've asked me to put this code in my video so that my channel subscribers can use this to purchase their own YubiKeys directly from Ubico. So this will actually give you $5 off your order uh, the YubiKey Fire Series. And also the link, which I will put in the description down below, takes you directly to a purchase cart where it will apply the discount code and also put you in a YubiKey 5 Series so that you can purchase it directly from Ubico. So here we are, as you can see on screen at the moment, I brought up the table from Ubico, which um, details the various YubiKeys. So we've got the YubiKey 5 Series, YubiKey Security Series, YubiKey 5 FIPS Series, and the YubiKey Bio Series. So here's the table of um, what each security key supports and what facilities it has, for example. So as you can see, starting from left to right, we have the YubiKey 5 series. And as far as communication support is concerned, you will see that the YubiKey 5 series has both USB-A, USB-C, NFC and Lightning models. However, for the security key series, you'll see that it doesn't support lightning and also the bio series don't support lightning. And in addition, the bio series doesn't support near field communication, which is NFC, of course. So I would rule out these two models. So I would rule out the security key series and the YubiKey bio series. So that just leaves us with the YubiKey 5 FIP series and YubiKey 5 series. So if we scroll down to works with, we have the YubiKey manager application, YubiCo authenticator application and the YubiCo personalization tool. So as you can see, we have the YubiKey 5 FIP series and the YubiKey five series so both of those series support all of those three applications as you will see here and here so let's scroll down to the security functions as you will see they all support web Orthon, fido2 fido2 ctap2 universal two factor authentication which is universal second factor u2f smart card piv compatible yubico otp oa auth hotp event and oa auth totp time based and open pgp and secure static passwords and again you'll see that both the YubiKey 5 FIP series and the YubiKey 5 series both support all of these specifications. So basically, I'm not going to go into details of what each of these security functions are um, because it would make the video too long. But I would just like to confirm that they do support logging in using one-time passwords and also pass keys which are the new security standard which everybody is talking about at the moment so they do both support pass keys they both support one-time password generation they will also support logging in to your computer using the key in addition to for example a username and password which i talked about a little while ago in this video and also logging in to applications. So, for example, you can use it, use them both to log in to your password manager, whether it's stored on your local PC or in the cloud. So, as I said, they also support all of these options. So they will generate one time password codes. So, for example, you might get your one time codes via text message. 
um, but it will actually support these in the Authenticator application on the YubiKey 5 series and also the YubiKey 5 FIPS series. So again, I would still rule out the Security Key series and also the YubiKey Bio series as they don't support all of the security functions. As you will see, some of them are grayed out. Quite a few of them are grayed out, in fact. Anyway, moving down to certifications, you will see that we have certifications for FIDO, for UTF, FIDO2, NIST, IP68, FIDO L2. Now, as you will see, only some of them are supported on the YubiKey 5 series. However, all of them are supported on the YubiKey 5 FIPS series. This is due to the FIPS cryptographic standard. So even though the YubiKey 5 series is shown and what I recommend using, you will still be able to use this successfully with all of the facilities that I've mentioned in this video. So don't let this put you off in that it doesn't support, for example, NIST FIPS. Um, of course, this is supported on the YubiKey 5 FIPS series because you actually have the security key in your possession. So you will actually have to use the security key and have it in your possession to access the various services that you're trying to access that need your YubiKey. Hopefully that makes sense. Password managers, Dashlane Premium is not supported by any of the YubiKeys. However, I don't recommend using Dashlane anyway myself, but that's just a personal choice. You can actually use it with Keeper, LastPass Premium, OnePassword or Bitwarden Premium. And as you will see, both the YubiKey 5 series and also the YubiKey 5 FIP series both support all of these password managers and they do support KeyPass and also KeyPass XC, which I've mentioned. And again, just to recap, I have actually done videos on which you can find on my channel. So moving down to device type, you will see that the YubiKey 5 series and the YubiKey 5 FIP series both support FIDO, HID device, CCID smart card and HID keyboard. Moving down to design and durability, all of the YubiKeys are water resistant, crush resistant, dust proof. They don't require any batteries and there's no moving parts in them. And this applies to the YubiKey 5 series and also the security key series and also the bio series, of course, in addition to 5 FIPS series. So they all support passwordless authentication methods, strong two-factor authentication, strong multi-factor authentication, and then moving down to the final table section, they are all manufactured in the USA and in Sweden. So hopefully this explanation of the table helps you choose a YubiKey. And as I said, I would certainly recommend purchasing the YubiKey 5 series and as I said, I've got a discount code which you can click on in the video description and which will apply a five euros discount. So it makes the YubiKey 5 series 45 euros each excluding VAT. So at least with a YubiKey 5 series, you know that you're covered for all types of current authentication and you can use it for all of the login options which I've already produced videos on so you can use it for logging into Windows provided you have a local user account not a Microsoft online account you can use it to access your password manager and also you can use it to access various websites and services which use the new pass keys so now that I've shown you the YubiKey table, I'll just bring up the image on screen. So as you will see on screen at the moment, you can use your YubiKey to deploy all of these 
configurations on the same YubiKey at the same time. So here you'll see we have the section which stores FIDO2 WebAuth, which is the 25 passkey limit. So it can store 25 passkeys in that section. It can store PIV information in that section. You can use the configuration set one to store Yubico OTP, OAauth, HOTP, challenge response and static passwords. Config set two, you can use that to do the same. So you can actually store your second static password, for example, in there, as well as OAauth and Yubico OTP. You can also use this section, which stores FIDO UTF. And then the final section, which is OATH TOTP. So that's time based one time passwords. So as you can see, you can store all of this information in a YubiKey at the same time. However, there are limits to the amount you can store in each section, of course. And as I just said, for example, with the WebAuth, which is FIDO2, there's a limit which will store 25 passkeys. If you want to know the exact limits for each storage section of the key, then you can find this on the Ubico website. However, to make things easier, I have the information here, which is for the YubiKey 5 series, and it supports six different protocols for two-factor authentication, each with its own limit on the number of accounts it can be associated with. Which protocol will be used with a given account varies from service to service or whichever website or app, etc. So for OTP, this application can hold two credentials. However, Yubico OTP, one of the most popular kinds of credentials to put in this app, can be registered with an unlimited number of services. So this is one time passwords. So you can, for FIDO UTF, similar to Yubico OTP, U2F application can be registered with registered with an unlimited number of services. FIDO2, the YubiKey 5 can hold up to 25 discoverable credentials, also known as hardware bound passkeys, which I've mentioned earlier, so they can store up to 25 discoverable credentials, and these are no, otherwise known as passkeys. For the OATH, which is the Yubico Authenticator, the YubiKey 5's OA Auth application can hold up to 32 OATH TOTP credentials, also known as Authenticator App Codes. PIV, the YubiKey 5's PIV smart card application, has 24 slots, each of which can hold one certificate and its corresponding private key. Moving down to the last option, which is OpenPGP, the appli OpenPGP application can hold up to three OpenPGP private keys, one for encryption, one for signing, and one for authentication. Hopefully, this information you found useful. Thanks for watching. Take care, and bye for now.